slots Unless you catch it on the rush And you never go again Dress Eastern nice, speak polite Excuse me sir, do you have a moment for Jesus Christ? You open the door, even an inch I lift Squeeze the pipe and wolf count sheep You ask me how to sleep at night in the bush. Who's actually scared of him? Twitter fingers and trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers But I clip your fingers you can't share again I'm off it I swing through in a Mercedes coupe White rapper Chocolate exterior, caramel guts like a baby root. Oh my oh! god! Better lawyer, better rapper, better at all that bitch. You better than battle rats, you lonely and have to crawl back in. And I'd smoke you in a trial. Fuck your law practice. The judge would keep interrupting me like, talk that shit! Oh, oh, fuck rap! We scrapping when I'm done with this army. I'm pushed in a battle. Real life punches a cop. You get slumped in a lobby. Y'all should have gave Ed word. This is a hands game. The fade comes with the body. It's the person that y'all said to kill me. But that's what got me in a rage. No hoodie. Looking like Mark Henry. You know but then a can say I don't have his drive. Well, I guess in a way that's sort of true. See, I was never good at parallel parking. I'm known for bumping the shoulder, too. <laughs> Even if it was New Year's, I couldn't literally. I said, even if it was New Year's, I couldn't literally. Fuck. I said, even if it was New Year's, I couldn't literally. Drop the ball in New York. Is you kidding me? <laughs>
couldn't hit the grocery store because we was broke in prayer? And the car not starting like the Oakland Raiders? Yo, yo, I was sitting at home lonely. They should have told bro retire. Couldn't get on smack that easy because none of your quotes is fire. It don't matter. Soon as the deposit was locked up and they post the flyer, I said, why would they give a con? Of course I'll be a sole survivor. Oh. They said this was a style clash and I agree. Fire. Trash. Keep making them pronoun jokes with a fucking gun to your head and your adjectives are gonna be bloody and dead. He tried to guess everything I say. Those ain't predictions I'll defy. Congratulations on fucking predicting how you die. Bitch! Stop dick riding Jesus! <laughs> His top believers. If you walk through the door, you drop to the floor and spit shine his penis. You dumb, you dumb ginger fuck. He ain't, he ain't ever returning, no matter how hard you're pathetically yearning. And I am not here to lessen the burden. I'm here to lead his confederate burning like a General Sherman. And as his corpse is in flames, the last was water, big name. That's something we'll have to let the dental records determine. But what's that shit you always say? I hope I don't mess up the word. And he like. You finna be mad as a bitch. <laughs> Spend three rounds battling God and end up losing the battle of me. <laughs> you disingenuous bitch. Whenever you spit that shit, it makes me want to reenact the passion and beat and take a hammer to each of the cats on your knees. Cause that shit is dumber than Adam and Eve before they were given an apple to eat. Oh. Motherfucker! Motherfucker, I thought the Lord was your shepherd, the core of your essence. You on a first name basis with the church lady playing the organ and reverend. And you saying your religion ain't important to mention? Oh my God, motherfucker, that is the corniest, desperate sort of deflection. It is more of a stretch than the uteruses that you Christians forced to be pregnant. Let me talk to Kim Aaron Ward for a second. Son. I know you've been against the mountainous odds, and that made you an easy mark for these counterfeit frauds. But when you're praying, you ain't been getting counsel by God. You've been talking to yourself like Calvin and Hobbes. You imaginary friend having ass bitch. Yo, what? Yo, what? You really want to know what would Jesus do? He'd be a Jew. I'll sneak up behind him while his eyes are stuck to the page of the scripture and the gaze that I'll lift up longer than Brian Pumper. One shot will knock his brain into his King James edition. I call that a Bible thumper. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, when you break it down, your verses sound like dog shit. Always go around in circles like when dog shit. I'll give your mama... <laughs> I'll give your mama and your daddy both this long dick. Bitch him out the closet, I'm a call shit. Yeah. You can get your god, fuck it, any god, send Poseidon sticking out his neck, watch his muscle, bone, and flesh divide. If I ain't in my bag, it's because his fucking head's inside it. Oh. Round one! Damn, oh, my bad. Round one! Shut the fuck up! Round one! Round one! Round one! Round one! Y'all feel the ground rumble under you? Well, in the second and third, I'm about to gut the dude. These people came here for me. They didn't come for you. I'm so caught, you silly bitch. Who the fuck are you? Damn, homie. In grind time, you were the man, homie. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> if they had a Hall of Fame, you'd probably be first class, fam. But I think the new soul will look at the old soul and probably curse that man. Cause these days you call your significant other your partner. Pure yeah. facts, fam. Yeah. So who's your favorite partner of all time? Your lady or dirt bag dad? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody 
nobody's government name. Peep the recipe used. I was outside sparring with Danny Myers while I was getting ready for you. I said, you believe in a parallel universe, right? I do. He said, I most definitely do. I said, he's bisexual and his name's Noah. I guess that it's true. God promised him a rainbow and he wanted two of everything too. <laughs> Because in February, you started running for political office. You were quick to discuss it. By July, you dropped out of the campaign because hateful messages were sent from the public. Now, I remember the story of Noah. What he did was the toughest. What I don't remember, it makes me sick to my stomach, is when he decided to jump shit because his mentions were flooded. Yo, it's disgusting. Yo, it's disgusting. Unlike you, unlike you, we about to get something real straight. Your name is Noah. <laughs> something real straight. Your name is Noah Abraham. Your middle name's A Oh, I'm about oh, to have oh, a field day. <laughs> obvious one, right? Because right? Abraham was also an own soul known for how easy it was to father the sons. Right. But like you, Yo. let's not get conceited. No, we got to take this route. What? How else is he like Abraham? We got to play this out. I'm reading Genesis 17. I'm going through the pages. Wow. I will make you a father of many nations. Nah, they don't portray his style. I will make you very fruitful. Yep, makes sense now. <laughs> approached it like it was what it was. Out there with an ultra-masculine facade trying to pretend like he come from the mud. How was the loudest voice in the room silent while your truth sunk in your gut? Huh? How was it, huh? Well, I guess in order to hear Soul Stone, he had to kill something he loved. Yo, that's not enough. That's not enough, because I watch his battles back, and I can sort of kind of tell. Always taking shots at fresco. Go home and ignore the cries for help. Attracted to both genders. Depressed. Mortified, it felt. Because it's so lowest, he was just there performing by himself. Yo. He was so lowest. He was just there. Bro, he gonna end up. Bro. Bro, he gonna end up missing. He built his whole career off bashing gay people just to come out the closet and end up with them. So I don't care about how you terrible you just talked about Jesus in that last round. Release the pent up tension, cause with your track record, in nine years you just gonna end up Christian. Look, they said, they said, they said this was a style clash, and I agree. Fire, splash. <laughs> I gotta say, them Noah bars were a dumb decision. I wasn't named after someone from the Bible. I was named after my grandmother's brother who was killed because he wasn't Christian. Oh, you would... Oh, what the fuck? All right? Oh, and you would understand if you fucking listen and if your life revolved around something else besides fucking fiction. And here's another thing I'll say. That shit bound just got me real white, hot-blooded. Yeah, my name's Noah. I bet if she saw me, your wife start flooding. And <laughs> now, just been nagging me every day. Like, besides criticizing a battler's resume, or how they have a gap that they never spray, hey, Ward, what the fuck is it that you actually ever say? Spoiler alert, nothing at all, so he covers his floor up with double entendres, and it gives himself a seam like he's stuck in a sauna. Oh, get it? Like, steam? Like when you sit? Hold on, hold on, get it? Like, steam? Like when you sit in a sauna? See, that's a thing in this genre that some find sick. Here's a single entendre. Bitch, suck my dick! <laughs> But it's just a bunch of garbage trash that you wrote. You just take a bunch of words that sound like other words and pretend that they're related like family strokes. Oh. Bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, scumbags got this. Scumbags got that. that. Yo, he battled ill will. He battled ill will. That's your highest view. Well, high for you. And I suggest that you see it. Well, I suggest that you see it. Because in his ill will battle, he unlocked an incredible secret. And you might want to stay seated for this astounding reveal. He somehow discovered that Will sounds like wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, against Will, you said wheel. 
eight fucking times uh. on eight fucking lines. He said four wheel and we wheel. I thought those wheels were enough. This bitch said wheel more than fucking wheels on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet before that match, some believed his fate was sealed, but Ward was so relaxed because he let Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> and y'all might think this round has a repetitive feel. I figure why bother reinventing the wheel? <laughs> You safety sizzles using ass bitch. <laughs> That's why you are a footnote, a fucking statistic. You are softer than the skin that they cut from my dick tip. You should be grubbing. <laughs> that they cut from my dick tip. Right. You should be groveling to me, you dumb little dipshit, because your bars are such a reach that they should come with a Fitbit. This is a, <laughs> this is a style, clash, fire, trash. Why can't your pastors keep their hands off a child's ass? <laughs> And that's some shit that happens in other denominations, but Christians are like the 95 bulls of molestation. Lord, <laughs> you're a pro. Hold up. Your approach to this art form is cardboard. Me, I'm far more suave board. The white Shamar more. I could parkour in a pair of Rockport Oxfords. Yo, here's some dumb shit they'll still remember more than all of your bars, Ward. Your breath smells like a fart store. <laughs> Maybe try some Listerine. I hear the Kirkland brand's a real deal. Slow it down, I just diss you. I said you're the Kirkland brand of real deal. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, we should call you Wheel Deal. <laughs> Every week you're fucking battling. Look how shitty your stock's been. Why your wife's home alone on a Sibian rockin'? You in Orlando versus some rando named Blicky the Problem. <laughs> and then, yo, but, and then, before the close, the war is over in North Dakota battling, I don't know, Sticky Bin Laden. But I think that I got it. The reason that he battles till his throat is aggravated, his rap mission's a baptism. That's why you're oversaturated. Oh my God. Go. Oh. Holy damn. Mm -hmm. I don't even rebuttal half of the disgusting things you said. <laughs> right. <laughs> said it like some biblical OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> but then you had like a, a bulls bar. I love sports, but like you know me, man. <laughs> I never really rocked with Jordan. I was a Kobe fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember exactly where I was that day when the madness hit. Me and Loso was on our way to watch Mike P and Danny Myers at the URL app event. I was in the front seat of the car holding my phone and just shaking. Because emptiness went throughout my whole body when I saw that notification. You remember where you were 24 hours after Kobe? When you jumped on Twitter and basically disregarded what he did for basketball and his greatness? When you jumped on Twitter and basically attacked his character and called him a rapist? Do you remember exactly how your fans felt? When they were disappointed and appalled at your statements, do you remember being a coward and deactivating your Twitter to avoid all of their faces? Yo, why do y'all embrace him? Where was the empathy? Was it not a factor? Knowing that his wife had to bury her husband and then her daughter after? Who the hell are you, bro? Who the hell are you? You're supposed to be this caring, free spirit. Love everyone, not attack her in a time when we were supposed to console. So con, you got it backwards. You're a hell this dude a hypocrite. This dude a hypocrite. I can't believe y'all paid him a cent. Watch where I'm from. Disrespecting the dead get you a rope around the ankles with a cement block. Who the hell are you to pick out the past of a person knowing where you've been? Stop. It was offensive. Foul. You thought the charge would stick, but further review showed the defense flopped. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Kobe. Pathetic and bro, you disrespected a goat to be accepted by some feministic leftist approach and could have just left it alone. Yo, imagine reading R.I.P. Soulcon. Wouldn't hearing that he died be tragic? Wouldn't it suck if we celebrated your untimely passing by bringing up your shortcomings and all your slimy habits? What if we hit the funeral and walked by the casket, grabbed the mic and passed it and recited all your grind time rounds and all the words that you rhymed with? Mm. <laughs> 
this battle and to me that's straight trash how would you feel reading deplorable tweets about our dear friend the day pat stay past long live the legends not this coward with a fake smile noah weston soul con he got me in a rage now i 30 noah i 30 con that's something i don't play about word to kobe bean bryant i'm dropping 60 on the way out <laughs> He talked down on battle rap, but on applause and mentions, he talked down on my faith for three rounds. Cause he's not a Christian. He talked down on the government and politicians. You do talk downs, I do walk downs. Spot the difference. Now lower in your casket will be the last time you can be condescending. <laughs> with you. I brought enough bars to body you and every person is with you. I tell them fall in line. I battle. God is good. All the time. You were right about my tweet. Shh. But I apologize. Even on Anderson's show, offer earnest words of contrition. And as a Christian, that means you obligated to say to I deserve their forgiveness. Do I? Do I? Not if you just said it for an interview. I did not say it for an interview. Did you say it before Anderson? Typical Christian. Always. No, nope, I said it before that too. <laughs> Typical Christian. Always want you to have to hear what Jesus had to teach, but then when it counts, they don't fucking practice what they preach. But here's the thing to me. All right. My man has got away with words except the meaning. Like, he can really cook, but it's never seasoned. See, they are how I use the literary device to compare how you write to the stereotype about how Caucasian cuisine is sparingly spiced. Bitch, I'm taking every <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm taking everything that you cherish in life and violently shitting on it from a perilous height where even the seraphim would never dare to take flight. Maybe the reason that your content is average as fuck is because you battle too much. Fun fact, he loves Hamilton. Bitch, Hamilton sucks. <laughs> this nation has a cursed past. Every founding father is a fucking clown and monster, and that ain't something you can simply change with a diverse cast. But the way that Hamilton died, That's crazy. the way that Hamilton died, that shit aside, is the perfect parallel for this battle tonight. Because like Hamilton, you avoid lethal force from the start, while this shot will break your ribs and rip your organs apart. He got a shirt that says, God can take you places hustling can. That's just a fucking scam for him to cultivate a brand. So they'll tell friends and they'll tell friends to buy whatever lie the reverend sells them. Bitch, that ain't religion, that's an MLM. <laughs> <laughs> the math ain't really working right. The way y'all push eternal life, it might as well be herbal life. Also, might as well be herbal life. Plus you got these shirts for a minimum of 30, right? Bitch, there ain't a word of Christ anywhere that says to turn him into fucking merchandise. He got this other dumb shirt, too. With a, this shirt. This shirt and a poem about being depressed. Then I researched his post and you ain't even depressed. Well, well, that is something I do struggle with, you ugly bitch. And I do not care. No, seriously, thing. I feel for the fact that your mother's illness affected you, son, but you're not a depressed person. So stop rapping from the perspective of one. You do not know firsthand what it's like feeling like death's gonna come because your own brain wants to steal the breath from your lungs. And newsflash, bitch, they're all aware of depression. The problem is they can't afford therapy sessions. But that's a political problem that got America stressing, and you are way too bitch made and scared to address it. Fuck your little schemes. These are facts that I'm spitting. I was raised to survive because my grandma's family didn't. Your mindset is childish and fantasy driven while I'm fighting for this world that we actually live in. And our, and our battles are different. Cops and Nazis stopped me and threatened me for what I said. Your ops want you to lose. My enemies want me dead. Oh, but he wants to wage war. Okay. Well, if that's what A order, then it's straightforward. I aim for his A order. See, it's way more than the fact that our styles don't align. I am miles in the sky like Davis when he played horns with Wayne Shorter. You about as real of a rapper as James Corden. Why, when I brainstorm, it turns an acorn into a rainforest. I bet you really thought that you were ready for me, Ward. You will never weigh as heavy as my legacy is, Ward. And I don't need a motivation of a heavenly reward. People say I save their lives with the records I record. And listen, they still quote my shit a decade later. Bitch, they ain't gonna remember your shit ten days later. Uh, shit like that is why we are not the same. All the knowledge you obtain is mythology and games. Fuck a halo, I am Kratos and I'm shopping in my blaze. When I'm done, there won't be nothing left of you for God to save. Oh. Oh. Fuck.
fuck out of here, boy. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think this gonna be? There's a million of you, bitch, but there's only one of me. Yeah.